you pull up your hands in your trousers? <laughs> yeah. Didn't your mother tell you not to do that? Yeah. She told me a lot of things. <laughs> The only way to get one of these apart is that all fits in there. Basically, I won't put the glass and the lens in or anything at the moment. That goes on there, and you have to unpick that lip. See it? You have to put a screwdriver in there and lever all that out. And when you do that, it makes that. See, that's pretty much a right angle there, isn't it? But when you peel that back, it rolls that up, yeah? So you don't get the depth back to try and bend it back over. Yeah. <clears throat> so what I do is I just put a little dolly in there and go round it. I've done it once, all the way round. So you're basically getting a, a, an angle back on it. Yeah. A right angle, so then you've got a little bit of lip it's all a bit gobbledygook, you'll probably never ever get it because it's also bent to go all the way back round but you've got to start with it somewhere, you know? okay, so that's that, you have an inner rim and your glass sits in there once the speedo's in there there should be a little tiny gasket in there but we're fighting for space so tend to leave that out then this is just a bit of very small gauge electric wiring ideally you want you can buy kits for um, making o-rings ideally what you want is a length of rubber but if we push that in there I'll cut another bit to the right length and that'll just sit in that groove there yeah yeah and then when that's back on there and you've hammered it round it just just puts a bit of pressure on the glass to stop the glass rattling that's all yeah. you want so what's actually the problem with this speed though why are you doing the work on it uh, it had just a flat bit of plastic in it and the rivets are missing off the face and you know so just a tidy up really um, obviously you have to paint that bit afterwards because you're going to hammer it yeah so it's just going to get chipped and bashed up so so the first thing to do that'll be okay you can't see any of that when that's in there so that's not an issue just go round and just check anything like you see that just that little lip there oh yeah See, that will hold that face off of there and make it harder to roll round afterwards. So just check it for any nasty lips and bumps and things. Can't see anything too major there, that's fairly straight. I mean, these, unless they're completely and utterly knackered, you can normally get them back on. I mean, it's bent that one, but it's not the end of the world. But the minute you try and straighten these, you, you, you're in a losing battle because they'll just kink and go funny. You're better off leaving them as they are okay. and just trying to use them as they are. You know, you, people like to try and keep their original faces because these are a lot of money now. It's probably 800 quid or something like that. Wow. For an original. Maybe, maybe a little bit less, but not a lot. So we've got a lip there. You don't want to hit it too hard, so I'm just going to leave that like that. Because if you start walloping them, you, you knacker the face, you know. So you don't really want to be doing that. So these are our four little tiny rivets. So what you've got to do is see if they'll go through the hole. And just centralise it, maybe. Two and a half millimetres. You back in. Sweet. Let's open the rest of them out.
is what it is when you ride these. Even though they've got a clamp round, they vibrate. The whole speedo face is doing that all yeah. over the shop unless they're riveted in hard. If you use what's called a ball pane hammer, the round point on it, yeah. try and hit it as central as you can. That's just years of hitting things. I mean, we used to make a sit at college, you put a line of grease down a panel and you hit them in a straight line just to get used to hammering. Yeah. So, see all of them have smudged over quite nicely. So you just, it's just, being careful with it and try and hit them straight in the middle if you can it'll just smudge them over being a round face it just pushes it over more and that's why you use that particular hammer yeah what would happen if you used a flat head oh, it'll still do the same thing but it won't look as good not that you can ever see it but this will give you a better seal okay just by hitting it straight in the middle if you can i'll miss it now about five times probably So I haven't hit it anywhere else but it's just sealed that over nicely just by hitting them straight on the nose basically if you can so that's all your rivets on nicely people try and clean these don't even attempt it with anything because this will just come straight off so how do you clean just, it? just dust it off you know don't no water in no them? no don't put water in them because they're, they're quite a finite thing in there you know so and people try and clean the numbers. They're so they had sunlight on them for 70, 80 years. Yeah. They just flake off whenever you try and clean them. So you're just better off just leaving them alone. If anything, just get a brush and give them a dust off, you know. You can pull the needles off and repaint them, but I, I like leaving Speedo's original. I think they, they look better. And that's literally it for that. That's re riveted on. That won't vibrate around now. So you put that back in your housing. I'm trying to remember which way around it goes. It should have a locating lug. Yeah, there you go. See that extra hole in there? Oh, right, yeah. So you've got a, a pin there, so that goes in that way. Where's the pin? Just there. And that's a bit of cork. And what you do is just drop a little bit of oil on that cork, and it'll soak through and feed wherever you want it to feed. Just a bit of a lubrication thing. Like I say, they're a bit fiddly to get back in sometimes. Just because this thing here, you have to engage. You have to sort of hook it in sideways. See that pin on the end of there? That's for your reset on the speed over the spring's gone in it, okay? But see that pin? Mm. That's got to fit in the end of there as you're feeding it in. Okay. It's all a bit wibbly wobbly, so you try and get it all lined up. Got it. There should be a bit of clear plastic here. Basically, I've tried to do those before and put a clear piece of plastic on it out of the bottom of Tupperware tins out of takeaway lids, it doesn't work basically. Whatever they made it of, the minute you turn a light bulb on, it gets hot and it don't, it don't work. So, right, so that's your basic of that. So, the light is just to illuminate the, the front. just illuminates it up. Yeah, they're very dull, but <clears throat> it wasn't a wartime thing, they didn't they just, as they were. He goes on there. Just try it for the moment. That goes on there, so you can feel with that glass that it's all bent, but you can only do what, as much as you can do, you know? Before you put a gasket on there, wouldn't you, to take out some of the... Mm, it depends, because if you start getting too fat, you haven't got enough to smudge over on here. So you have to be careful, where that's too loose, so your glass is rattling around. Get our thinnest wire we've got in black. 
Right, so you've got a little lip in there which would originally held the rubber, yeah? Okay. You just want to force that in there. Just so it'll stay in there, you know? That's got her trapped in there. Glass is nice and tight. See how that's just lipping over on that bit, can you see it? There? Mm, yeah. Okay. But what you want to do is start it in like four places around yeah. just to hold it all and you haven't got to try and hold everything together quite as much you know you always end up with a tight bit on them do to make your life a bit easier just very gently in between them now just bang that edge around a little bit and then put your glasses on <laughs> what are you desperately trying to avoid doing breaking that bit of glass because you can see where it's all bent and wobbly and that but what, by doing this, you just give yourself another start. See how that's rolling over nicely? It's highly unlikely that you'll get the whole lot to do that but it's enough to hold it all together, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just carry on as we were, and then we'll finish her off with a flat blade in a minute. Just providing it holds everything in there and stops it rattling around, it is, it's doing its job, you know. So what I'm doing is resting on that lip there, pushing down on that, whilst hammering it at the same time, yeah? You've got to just keep tapping it, don't don't whack it because it, it'll just go all out of kilter. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll start round here, give that a little bit of a lead in. I made that hammer head at college. Wow. Right, I'll do something. So we'll give that a mask up now. Spray a matte black paint. Sorted. The other thing to do is make sure it fits through the hole in the speedo cover. Like that doesn't go now, you see. Where are you looking? Well, that rip rim should come all the way through there. It doesn't quite fit now. Because it, it'll just go, it'll just bend it out of shape, you know. There's nothing you can do with that, so we'll just run a little tiny Dremel around there just to make it fit in there nicely, you know? If you have a paint in one of these where the illumination light goes just put a bit of tape over that so you can end up blowing black paint onto the face yep. <laughs> and you just put it all together and you have to take the bloody thing apart again
It's only where you're trying to avoid getting paint into. No, it doesn't make any difference then. No. See where it's going blotchy there look. I've cleaned it all off, but that has silicone, you know, clear silicone all over it to hold the lens in. So it's gonna react, it doesn't matter what silicone and paint don't go together at all. Sweet! Yeah, you can't do anything about all the dents and that where it's been done because you bend them getting them off but when the chrome's on there it only goes to that line there yeah looks right that very nice original head I'll get that back on yeah sweet next week on the workshop right just a 45 engine strip down basically what I do just put the sprocket nut on there so you can wind the engine over freely with a spanner just wind them over to the top let's get that one on the top if you can hit if you can move it by hand and you can hear it knocking yeah yeah that's too much play